We will now discuss how low SES and stress impact children in the various domains of development. There are four different domains, social, emotional, cognitive, and physical. But for the purpose of this project, we are combining social and emotional into one, since that's the way it was divided in the research we found. I will now generally explain social emotional development. It is defined as developing the ability to experience and control emotions, form secure positive relationships, and explore and learn in all areas of the child's environment. This includes family, community, and cultural background. This domain spans from how children interact with others to how they manage or cope with adversity and stress. So there are certain basic skills like cooperation, following directions, demonstrating self-control, and paying attention that require social emotional skills. Feelings of trust, confidence, pride, friendship, affection, and humor are all part of the child's social emotional development. Positive relationships are key in developing trust, empathy, compassion, generosity, and conscience. Let's now take a look at what it looks like to have healthy social-emotional development. Healthy social-emotional development includes ability to form and sustain positive relationships, experience, understand, manage, and express full range of positive and negative emotions, explore and engage with the environment. Children with well-developed social-emotional skills are also more able to express their ideas and feelings, accurately read and comprehend emotional states in others, display empathy towards others, manage their feelings of frustration and disappointment more easily, feel self-confident, succeed in school. Now looking specifically at how an increase in the stress hormone can affect the social emotional development, I divided this into emotional, social, and behavioral. So an increase in the stress hormone can lead to emotional things like the inability to cope with stress, develop personality traits like violence and disobedience, heightened emotional sensitivity and mood instability, depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. Socially, it can lead to antisocial behaviors and disorders, which causes the children to be withdrawn from the family and friends, spend more time alone, and lack motivation. Can also result in difficulty paying attention, struggling in school, acting with anger or irritability towards others. Behaviorally, new habits of regression can occur, like thumb sucking, wetting the bed, teeth grinding, biting the nails, picking at skin. Also, they can be more accident prone, cry more often, stutter, and get into fights. I found a study done in July of this year that took 432 parents of children from the ages of 5 to 13 to see how aware parents are of their child's stress. And the results showed that the parents were very quick to say that they were at high levels of stress and that their children ha had very low stress. So this shows that parents seem to be recognizing their own stress, but they are not necessarily recognizing the link between what's happening in the family and how it affects their children. So most parents 
could identify stress in their child if it came in the form of a headache, stomach ache, nightmares, or trouble sleeping. So if it was something more obvious, you know, physical or, or what have you. But there are also some parents who recognize the stress in their child when they're arguing more or crying or whining. So due to this inability for parents to easily recognize the stress in their young children, I would like to identify some warning signs for parents. So in cases where social emotional development is affected due to stress, parents can recognize this if their children are more feel fearful and worried than other children, sleeping, eating, or toilet problems, hits, screams, or fights on a daily basis, treats other children, animals, or objects cruelly or destructively, not talking or expressing needs, trouble forming relationships, unusually quiet, shy, or withdrawn, unable to play, trouble with self-control, hard to soothe or comfort, frequent headaches or stomach aches.